Tarkas, I have nothing left to say now. Um, Marcus is quite correct. I, I don't like uh, blowing my own horn. I'm not sure where that comes from. I'm always happy when other people blow it. But, uh, I, I always am uncomfortable of doing it myself. But uh, what I am really comfortable talking about is, is communities and politics. And, and, uh, and that politics to me is uh, kind of pure and simple. It is the community coming together to elect somebody who represents their point of view, who stands for the values that they stand for. And that is how democracy works. And, um, the, uh, as I always say, my name is on the ballot, um, and I'm, you know, I'm used to doing that, or I'm crazy enough to do that. Uh, I have the personality type for it, or whatever. But um, I always think of it as my name is on there for everybody else, not that it's uh, so I can have some title in front of my name or uh, be a be a big shot or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, when I do get, uh, as my staff knows, I get quite agitated at the bureaucracy sometimes and will sort of flex my muscles uh, to get something done, but it's not because they're not responding to me, it's because they're not responding to residents or to what's in the, what's in the public interest. So. Um, so me having a large grassroots community campaign is really important. Um, I thank you all for, for coming out, for being here. Uh, hopefully you could all draw in some of your neighbors. Um, the biggest problem I have is people thinking that, you know, John always gets in, he got two thirds of the vote last time. Uh, we don't need to get involved. We don't need to do anything. Um, and uh, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Its campaigns are uh, really require a lot of work, especially in this ward, where I'm really only a partial incumbent because of the incredible percentage of new population that comes in between the last election, especially in the condos where more than half the votes are, but even in the um, on the in the single family homes, uh, there's really a remarkably large uh, turnover over a four year period, partly because of the new uh, house construction. But it's um, there's still a lot of people out there who don't know me, and it's very important to get the message out. People will uh, frankly pay more attention to uh, a neighbor telling them something good about me than a politician saying something good about themselves. People who don't know me think, oh, you know, there's another politician <laughs> tuning their own horn. Uh, so the, the community part of the campaign is really important practically, and it's uh, very important um, um, philosophically. It's really important to me that it be a, a large grassroots campaign. Um, as far as uh, what we're up against this time, it, it really is, as Marcus said, the you know axis of evil. It's uh, it's creepy. I, I had a campaign meeting at my house the other night, and I said uh, I don't know exactly what to expect, but I do know it's going to be strange and it's going to be nasty. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what form it's going to take. And then we see this morning uh, people paid by the hour um, to um, be out there protesting. They literally, uh, for those of you who weren't here then, people went up to them and talked to them and asked them why they were there. And one person said, I don't know, I'm here because I'm getting paid. And uh, there wasn't really anybody who could do any reason. They, they literally didn't know who I was. Who I was. Um, so it, it's just, you know, I have never, I've been doing this for 30 something years counting the school board, I have never seen higher protesters before. And what this couple of these 25, you know, organized with a truck with 
you know, with signs that looked like they were handmade, and and as Kate said, uh, apparently now all down at uh, the campaign office of the uh, person who's running against me. So that's just plain creepy to me. Um, the uh, that individual, by the way. Um, purchased land on Shepherd Avenue, which, you know, anybody can purchase land wherever they want. Also purchased land on the street behind to which, uh, and, and then uh, came in to see the city for full block development, which would completely destabilize that neighborhood. Um, so it's, um, you know, it's kind of a, a concern to me that we do have this kind of strange um, group out there that is um, trying to get someone else elected, not for the normal reasons or not, you know, I'm fine if somebody disagrees with any policy I have and say, here, I've got a different policy and if people like that better, that's, then they should vote for that person. But this stuff is just weird and I think will start to look like the um, you know, brick through the window, uh, it might even literally turn into the brick through the window. Um, the, um, and uh, my main opponent is, is, has been endorsed by Ford Nation, and so there's going to be all that crazy stuff. So um, the um, way to counteract all that crazy negative bad, creepy stuff is with just a normal, large, grassroots community campaign. So, um, and I, so I thank all of you for being part of that, and we really need as many people as we can uh, to make that work. So, um, thank you for coming out. Um, we'll hope to see a lot more of you over the next uh, uh, seven weeks. I will be out every day. So anytime anybody wants to uh, join me canvassing, I will be out there. Um, and um, uh, enjoy yourselves, have a sandwich, and thank you again. Thank you. So, please help yourselves. The sandwiches behind here, drinks in the coolers here as well. And uh, in about 15-20 uh, minutes, we will uh, sound the alarm and start to mobilize teams. To